So that's conservation of mass. And we're going to talk about momentum next, but first we need to talk about another identity. <clears throat> so in the previous one, our control volume was fixed, but what if it weren't? If you had a control volume that, you know, say, v, that had a volume V of T, a surface S of T, right? And over some time, we change it such that it's, you know, at V plus delta T, S T plus delta T. So at some later time, We've changed the control volume, and we want to know what happens to some quantity inside it. And the quantity is arbitrary at this point. I'm just calling it A, but it could be energy, it could be momentum. You know, energy is a scalar, momentum is a, ten, is, is a vector. So I'm not going to make that specification right this second. I'm just going to say A, and I try to write it like a script A. You know, just to be different, because just to point out, it's just some arbitrary quantity, right? And, you know, I want to investigate how A changes with a change in control volume. So, in other words, you know, I want to know what DDT rho A with a change in control volume might be. So before, if, you know, if the volume isn't changing, we, we saw, you know, you can just move the differential operator inside, right? But we can't do that here because of the, because, A, you know, the volume might be changing, okay? So in words, you know, what we're interested in is you know, sort of the time rate of change of A, time rate of change of A inside the changing V. And what that has to equal is the sort of instantaneous instantaneous uh, change in A. So what I mean by instantaneous is like, you know, at a constant V plus the flux of A. Right? So if I'm changing the control volume, there may be something internal to the control volume that's it making A increase, right? It could be internal energy or something's going up. That's, that's internal to A, but the, I'm changing the control volume. There also might be some flux, right, across it. Okay, and so if we write sort of in, in equations what I wrote in words, you know, DDT, and I, I'll try to put the, keep the T there so you know that this is that's equal to the instantaneous change in A. That's DDT. Well. I'll go ahead and move that inside. What's the flux of A? Yes, okay. So, I'm going to start manipulating this equation then. The, the first thing I'm going to do is use the Vergence Theorem to convert the surface integral to the volume integral, right? So this guy is going to become that guy, all right? And so, then I'm just on the on the, I'm, on this first term. I'm just going to apply the chain rule. I'm apply the chain rule to this guy, and I'm apply the chain rule to that guy. 
and I'm going to write down what the long, the you know, long written out form is. Okay, so I have a ddt row plus row ddt a plus. Now, when I apply the chain rule on this divergence operator, I'm going to keep row v grouped. So I'm going to, you know, there's three terms there, right? So I'm going to group row V and act like it's one term and, and keep A as one term and apply the chain rule that way. Right? So if I do that, then I get A divergence row V plus row V grad. All right. And I'm just going to write this a little bit different. I'm not going to change the equation any any way except I'm just going to do a little factoring. Okay, so we've manipulated our equation. What is this? It's conservation of mass, right? And that's equal to zero. What is this? It's the material time derivative, right? Okay. So with those two things, we had that DDT of V that changes equal to rho A D V, right? That's what we're interested in, finding out what that's equal to. And it's equal to rho D A D T D V, right? So for a changing volume, the time rate of change of this guy is equal to the material time derivative of A. So this thing has a name. I'm sure you've heard before. Anybody know? It's called Reynolds Transport Theorem. Never heard of that? Usually, like in an undergraduate fluid mechanics class, it's you know, you just present it. You know, it's not derived like we just did. 